hey guys welcome back to next gen blog and in this video i want to show you how you can create a donut in blender now it's actually super easy to create a donut in blender so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this i've already opened up the blender software and this is the default interface which you're going to see when you start blender now, before I even start, let me just tell you that creating a donut is a long process. And that's the reason I've divided this entire tutorial into multiple parts. And this video is the first part showing how you can create a donut. Alright? Now, to begin with, first of all, I would like to delete this cube as I don't really need this. And instead of this cube, let me add a different object. So, the object which we are going to use to create our donut is called a torus. So, to add it, you need to go to the add menu, go to mesh, and right here, you're going to find the torus option. So, simply click on it. Now, let me just zoom in like this. Perfect. Next, what you need to do is, you need to click on this add torus option, which is present right here. And the moment you click on this add torus option, this add torus option is going to expand. And there are a bunch of different options inside this particular Add Torus dialog. And the options which we are mostly interested in is this four. Major segments, minor segments, major radius and minor radius. Now, to explain to you in simple terms what these options are, major segments and minor segments helps you to adjust the resolution of your object and major radius and minor radius helps you to adjust the size of your object and one side note which i would like to tell you and i hope you remember it for future is that it's always better to create low resolution objects and then add resolution later on in the future if you need them rather than creating high resolution objects and then delete resolution later on all right so keep this in mind always create low resolution objects in the beginning don't create high resolution objects because if you create a high resolution objects it's going to take a lot of time to render and it's very difficult to work with high resolution objects if you want to tweak them it's going to be a lot difficult so keep this in mind always create low resolution objects now having said that Inside major segments, currently the value is 48. So let me just decrease the value inside major segments from 48 to somewhere around, let's say, let's say 32. And inside major radius, currently the value is 1 meter. So let me just decrease the value inside major radius as well from 1 meter to somewhere around, let's say, let's say, 0.39 meter all right this looks fine now once you are done adjusting the resolution and size of your object you need to make a single click on top of your canvas perfect now let me just zoom in once again next what you need to do is you need to select your torus object right click on it and then select this option that is shade smooth and the reason we are selecting this option is because our torus object kind of looked really stiff if you looked at the outer layer so let me just undo it and as you can see the torus object is kind of looking really stiff the outer layer of the torus object is looking really stiff and to smoothen it what we are doing is we are right clicking on it and then selecting this option that is shade smooth perfect Next, what you need to do is you need to look inside the properties window and right here, you're going to find this option called modifiers. So click on it. Next, you need to click on this add modifier button. Now go to generate and inside generate, you will find this option called subdivision surface. So click on this option. Now the moment you click on subdivision surface, you will see the, the subdivision surface dialog opening up inside the properties window and the subdivision surface dialog contains two options levels viewport and render so inside levels viewport currently the value is one so that's fine 
insert render, currently the value is 2. So decrease this value from 2 to 1. All right. Next, what you need to do is you need to create deformities in your donut. So what I mean by that is if you look at the donut which we have created, as you can see, a donut is just too much perfect. And uh, such perfect donuts don't exist in the real world because um, there is an element of human touch when donuts are created and such perfect donuts don't exist. So to the naked eye, this donut is just too much perfect. And so we have to manually create deformities um, to, to make anyone who is looking at this donut believe that this was created by a person. All right. And this is one thing which, again, you need to keep in your mind. Whatever you create in Blender, they are just too much perfect. And so you have to manually create deformities uh, so that uh, the person who is watching it kind of believes that, yes, this is actually, there is an element of human touch in the creation. Because um, uh, such perfectness does not exist in the real world. It's, it can only exist in software like Blender. All right. So what we are going to do is we will, as I said, create deformities. And to do that, um, you need to first of all change the mode from object mode to to edit mode. So right here, as you can see, object mode is selected. So click here and then select the edit mode. And the moment you click on edit mode, you will see this kind of web kind of um, taking over our donut. And um, so don't get scared. And uh, this web will help us create deformities in our donut. And so let me just show you how you can do that. So what you can do is you can create a point. Uh, sorry, you can select a point um, in the web. So let me just select this particular point. Now press G on the keyboard to grab this point. And now if I just move my cursor, you will see that I'm actually moving or I'm actually creating um, a deformity in that particular place where the point was placed. So the more I move it, the larger the deformity gets. And once again, let me just show you by selecting a different point. So let me just select this particular point right here. Press G on the keyboard to grab this point. And now let me just drag this point like this. And as you can see, deformities are getting created wherever I'm selecting the point and grabbing it. And um, this is how basically you can create deformities in a donut. Um, deformities vary object to object right now since we are creating a donut. So this is how I am imagining uh, a donut um, a donut uh, could be in the real world if, if uh, a human is uh, making it. All right. And uh, let me just select this point press G on the keyboard to grab it and then move it like this. Um, and you can continue doing it, all right? But the problem here is, is that um, this is just too much time con uh, time consuming, all right? We can just select points, we can grab them, we can create deformities, but it's just too much time consuming. And um, we don't really have that much time. We want to do things faster, quicker, right? So what we are going to do instead is we will use something called proportional editing. So what I mean by that is, so Blender has this option called proportional editing uh, using which you can actually create deformities a lot faster. And let me show you. So as you can see, I have selected this particular point. So let me just select a different point. So let me just select this particular point right here and if you look right above you will find this option called proportional editing now if you click on this option now proportional editing has now gotten active and now if you press g on the keyboard to grab the point you will see this large circle appear and uh, this circle is called circle of influence and um, as you can see, inside this circle, most of my donut is there. And if I just move this, 
move this um move this uh, move my cursor uh, if i move my cursor you will see that the the portion which is inside the circle of influence that entire po portion will get affected as i'm moving the cursor and um let me just quickly undo once again let me undo okay i cannot undo because i need to first of all select this yeah now let me undo all right now what you need to do is you need to first of all um we have selected the point press g on the keyboard to grab it and we need to decrease the circle of influence so the keyboard shortcuts to increase and decrease this circle of influence is page up and page down so if you click on page up the circle of in influence will keep increasing and if you click on page down the circle of influence will keep decreasing all right and um, so let me just decrease it all right now as you can see i've significantly decreased the circle of influence and now if i just if i just um move my cursor and create deformities as you can see this is how things are looking on screen so once again let me just select this point press g on the keyboard to grab it and now let me just slightly move it to create deformity perfect now once again let me just select this particular point press g on the keyboard to grab it and then move it create deformity like this perfect and let me just show you how things are looking yeah as you can see now it is kind of looking like okay there is a element of human touch uh, in our donut and um, one final thing let me just do is let me just select this particular point right here press g on the keyboard to grab it and once again move it yeah i think i'm pretty much satisfied with the deformities which i've created in my donut and um now let's just turn off the proportional editing option and now okay the proportional editing option is now uh, inactive and um we are pretty much done for this particular um, video one final thing which i would like to do is i would like to shrink the circumference of my of my donut so to shrink the circumference of the donut what you need to do is you need to press alt on the keyboard and you need to click on this particular edge right here and this will create an entire selection um of this particular uh, of this of the edges of this particular ring as you can see and now to shrink it what you need to do is you need to press s on the keyboard and if we just slightly decrease uh, the circumference like this perfect and now simply make a single click on top of the canvas yeah and we are done for this video um so let me just go from edit mode to object mode once again and if i show you what i've created yeah this is how my donut is looking as of now i know it's not perfect but this is just sort of basic modeling which we have done in this particular video and um, in my next video we will continue right from here and um, let me just save this entire thing so let me just go to file now go to save as and let me just write a name for my file so let me just write let's say let's say uh, donut and now simply make a single click on top of the save as button and that's it we have successfully saved our project and in my next video we will continue right from here so that's it guys uh, do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching